What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ani, I'm a second year student studying computer science here at MIT, and today I have a very special video for you guys. It's a beautiful sunny day outside, and while that does mean that summer is quickly approaching, that also means that final season is officially upon us. Today I hope to take you guys through what a typical day in the life looks like during finals here at MIT. Today is the final challenge day for 64200, which is Robotics, Sciences, and Systems. Over the past semester, my team and I have been working really hard and learning a lot of skills in order to work towards this final challenge of racing our robot around the track at Johnson Athletic Center. The time is 7.30. Our race starts at 11, but I think I'm going to head over to Johnson Track right now just to make a few tweaks to our car because there's a lot of things that we wanted to change. Hope you guys enjoy. While my car gets set up, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about this class. Um, over the course of the semester, we learned several topics uh, in robotics, very important algorithms um, related to localization, path planning, and control. And apart from that, we had a lab every single week in order to really hone those skills and actually understand how to implement them in person. We also learned Robotic Operating System, which is also known as ROS, which is a huge uh, middleware framework that is very common in robotics today. And overall, I think it was a really good class. I'm very excited and very proud of our team for all the things that we've accomplished so far. And lane four is the winner. All right, it's currently heat two right now. We're actually heat number seven, so I have to wait a long time. Probably just gonna get some work done in the meantime, but hope you guys enjoy the footage coming up for, oh my gosh, look at that. Close match. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. This is Arnold, this is my teammate in RSS. Uh, do you think you can tell me a little bit about uh, what it's about? Yeah, robotics. I mean, it's mainly software class, but I think the big part is it's just the ROS, which is the main robot operating system and software that we use. We deal with like a lot of the difficulties that come with hardware that don't come with software. That makes sense. What do you think was the most difficult part of the class? Well, one is just trying to debug on through hardware. It's just a lot harder, especially through ROS. Like for, if you write just software code, it's a lot easier to debug because you can put print statements. You could use the a debugger, for example, you could put breakpoints. But here it's like. You have to be a little more creative, you have to visualize. It's a lot more iterative process and you have to really break it down step by step. It makes a lot of sense. All right, thanks, man. All right, you guys are warming up. How do you feel? No, I'm like out of shape. I haven't swam in a while. Oh, I'm really <laughs> for the car. That's I'm kind of scared. I'm really scared. Oh. Dude, All it's right. going to be really good at staying in lane 1.5. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed. We got this, we got this. Okay. Please clear the track. All right, we're about to go. Let's start the next race in three, two, one, go. What was that? <laughs> what the line? All right, just got finished with uh, the RSS final challenge race day. Um, our car did okay, but I think it's just really cool seeing all the other teams doing super robust controllers, doing a really good job making sure that their robot was able to go to run. One of the projects that we have to do for uh, 1800 is a end of the semester design project. And at the beginning of the semester, we're given a specification. Basically, we have to use all the different system design skills, things like networks, security, uh, distributed systems, and operating systems. Using things that we've learned from those four topics, we are tasked with designing a system that is able to uh, satisfy the specification that we're given. I'm planning to go to my lab in CSAIL in order to get this work done. So hopefully I can show you guys a couple of the cool robots along the way. Super grateful for the opportunity to work on research at the, like one of the top AI labs in the country. Um, I'm going to show you guys a quick sneak peek into our lab, hopefully show you guys a couple of the cool robots and then get a little bit of work done. I 
had to take a short break from my design project work in order to go help my team for the second part of the 033 final challenge, which is city driving. I have high confidence that we're gonna do a great job. All right, I am in the basement of Stata. Our car's ready to go, we're about to go up. Look at how many people there are here. It's insane. We have like around 20 teams. Each team has four to five members. So it's gonna be pretty wild, but I'm pretty confident that this is gonna go very well. What team number are you in? 17. 17. And we're gonna go through. You're gonna keep track on time. And I'm gonna be looking for infractions, stop sign, and uh, being over the, the road. All right, ready? Start when you're ready. Ready, set, oh, okay. Awesome. Uh, All right, Anish, how do you feel about our project? I'm happy about part B. Part A, honestly, we did it as much as I expected, so... Okay. Yeah, I think we did the best that we could. We did the best we could with our time and yeah. budget. Awesome, yeah. All right, just got done with city driving. It went perfectly. It went as well as we hoped to. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed seeing how that class is. Um, this is have a class that's not really offered a lot of other places, so I'm really grateful to be at MIT to be having the opportunity to take classes like that. Data center is basically what you might consider the core of computer science here at MIT. Uh, most of the AI-oriented research labs, as well as robotics-oriented research labs, are located in Stata. Hardcore computer science research happens in Stata Center. Recently, there's been so many people who have been interested in doing computer science over the past 10 years or so, and because of this, over 50% of uh, MIT students are actually CS in some form or fashion. They're actually building a new building, the Schwarzman College of Computing. But I'm excited. It should be opening next year and hopefully it'll provide us with another uh, good space for computer science to go study. All right, just got done with my um, DP report project. So right now, the rest of the day should be pretty chill. This semester, I'm taking a lot of final project classes, which makes this segment of the semester very hectic. The good part of this is that I don't have many final exams. I just have one for 033. And then hopefully I'll be doing something fun later tonight that I'll be able to show you guys. All right, just got, just got done with work for the days. I'm with the gang and we're going to Red White, which is a nice vegan ramen place in Newberry Street um, in Back Bay. Being in Cambridge, MIT's location is super great because it's right on the border of Boston and Cambridge. The two cities are separated by the Charles River. MIT is in technically on the Cambridge side. It is right across the Charles River from the main part of Boston. We currently are going to Back Bay, which is one of the more affluent parts of Boston. The streets there are very nice to walk around in and they have a lot of good restaurants. It's a place that I like to frequent a lot when the weather's pretty nice. Describe how finals are. Describe how final projects are. Yeah. It's like pretty intense. Okay, how come? Um, like I had like a final project due on Monday, a final project due on Tuesday, and then I had some like like some big deliverable for some final project due on Thursday at 9 a.m. Okay. So I was basically like nonstop working from like Sunday at like 10 p.m. till like Thursday at 9 a.m. Nice. And what so classes like, are you taking? Um, I'm taking 6033, or as the young kids like to call it, 6.1800. Uh, that's computer systems. Is this class symmetry and machine learning? And then my other class is hardware architecture for deep learning. You're, you're very into like this hardware side of things, right? What would you say like makes MIT unique in this aspect? What makes MIT unique? I mean, I can't really speak for other schools. I can just say what MIT has. I think with hardware, the biggest thing is like, it's much harder to start a hardware project as like a high school student because you have to buy a lot of hardware. Right. As opposed to MIT, you get a lot of resources for free through all the labs. You take advantage of the lab. Yeah, because makes sense. you're not gonna get access to those resources anywhere yeah. else. What kind of resources do we have here? I mean, more generally, like in terms of hardware stuff, there's like a bunch of maker spaces and stuff. Yeah. Um, but that's like maybe a little bit more towards this like mechanical engineering side of things. I think a lot of the resources come in form classes. Yeah. So like, I mean, there's like this, this one class, 611. Um, and that class, like they give you like some FPGA board. It's like cost of $400. So like you're, I mean, maybe you could buy it, but like, you're probably not buying it as a high school student. And then they uh -huh. also just give you a bunch of like other like digital devices to interface with. Um, nice. So that's a very cool class. Like there's a lot of like random like electronic equipment sitting around in like the Stata loading docks. Right. So a lot of students make use of those. Oh nice, I did not know that. Just like use those to like grind their own personal projects. That's very cool. So. Awesome, thank you so much. Boston is also an amazing college town. I think there are like seven or eight major campuses 
here in Boston, obviously the big ones, Harvard, MIT, Boston University, Northeastern, as well as a bunch of smaller ones that are a little bit further away from the city. There's a very like strong energy that we feel here of people who are really trying to innovate and really trying to learn and become the best versions of themselves. Now we're on Newberry Street, which is like a more high-end, more bustling shopping district here in Boston. Um, if we look around, we see a lot of like boutique stores, a lot of like more fancy stores, because there's a lot of good food places. Um, there's an ice cream shop that I frequent a lot here with friends sometimes, Amarino. And if you come to Boston, I would highly recommend it. <laughs> Vibey, our food's here. Nice and warm. I'm, I'm excited to see like what these guys think. Yeah, but you can probably drink it. Mm, so good. It's very good. Okay. Alright, just got finished with dinner. Dave and Vivian and I are gonna head to Trader Joe's right now, get some grocery shopping done, and then head back to McGregor. I got four bags of ghost pepper chips and yogurt in order to make mango lassi for tomorrow's Celtics versus Sixers game. Just got back home. Uh, I'm gonna probably play some games tonight and just spend some time with friends. Um, because of finals week, sometimes it's very easy to get caught up in all the work. Given that here at MIT, we're working on very difficult things and working on very difficult projects, it's very easy to burn ourselves out. And because of this, taking care of ourselves is very important. And hopefully today's going to be a nice day to sit, sit back and relax um, after a long day at work. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching my vlog. And I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of your support. My first video blew up in a way that I never could have imagined. And I feel so blessed for have a platform where I can make videos about things that I want. I see a lot of your guys' questions about MIT life and about CS in general. I would definitely want to do a Q&A video sometime in the future. So if you guys have any other questions, uh, feel free to drop a comment. Until then, see you guys in the next one. Peace.